In this video, I'll show you how to create phone orders in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and here we've logged in as a sales agent. So how we're going to structure this um, tutorial is we're going to use the WooSuite sales agent plugin and we're going to create a sales agent account who will be able to manage all the customers that we've got in our system and he'll be able to or he or she will be able to actually create new customers as well. So from here, when we navigate to customers, we can go ahead and add a new customer to the system. OK, and if we've got an existing customer on the system that we want to place an order on behalf of, for example, we can search um, ABC Limited, right? Say we've got ABC Limited on the phone and they want to place an order. We can just go ahead and click um, order. And now we're ordering on behalf of ABC Limited. And the main benefit of this is, let's say, for example, ABC Limited is a wholesale customer, right? And they're tagged as a wholesale customer. So we've got special payment options. We've got special prices for ABC Limited. Since we're ordering um, on behalf of ABC Limited, will be able to benefit from all those extra pricing discounts, shipping discounts, and any other benefits that we've got set up, okay? So for example, we can click on this particular product here, and let's say there was a tiered pricing um, discount on this particular product, then we'd be able to access it from the front end, okay? So that's not possible within the back end of um, the WordPress dashboard. So this is the main benefit of doing it this way, as opposed to placing the order um, in the back end of WordPress, okay? So we can just click add to order. And again, another unique feature about this particular plugin is if we navigate to the cart page, the sales agent actually has the option to edit the price directly within the cart page. OK, so let's say we're negotiating with a customer on the phone and we've said that if they order 500 units of this particular product, we'll give it them for five dollars per unit. Then we can just go ahead and input five dollars here. So the sales agent has the option to directly edit um, the price here within the cart page okay and then they can go ahead and proceed placing that order on behalf of the customer okay so again that's another unique um, feature with using this particular plugin so then we can just proceed to the checkout and here we've already got um, the customer's um, billing details and shipping details already installed. And then from the payment method, we can choose from any of the payment options that you've set up. So if you've got check payment, you'll see it here. If you've got um, card payment, then you'll see it here as well. And then you can just go ahead and place the order on behalf of the customer. Or if it's just an invoice payment, then you'll just select invoice, um, click pay, they'll receive an email, and then they'll be able to just go ahead and settle that order, okay? Okay, so we've just placed an order on behalf of ABC Limited, and they'll be notified via email as well, um, that an order has been placed on their behalf with the order details as well, okay? So this is what we'll be creating throughout this tutorial. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce website, the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WooSuite sales agent plugin. Once you've done so, we'll head over to our dashboard and I'll leave the link in the description below. OK, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard and assuming you've downloaded the WooSuite sales agent plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you'd go plugins. Add new, go ahead and upload and install that plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this wee suite menu here. Activate your license key. And then from the add-on section, you'll want to go ahead and activate the sales agent plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it now. Okay, so to get the system up and running, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a sales agent because this sales agent will be able to access all the customer's account, right? So we'll navigate to users and then we'll click add new user. OK, and then it's just like adding any other user on WordPress, we'll go ahead and enter in the username, the email address and um, the name and password. But the most important thing here is where it says role. We want to go ahead and select um, where it says sales agent here. OK, and then we'll just click add new user. So I've already created a sales agent. I've got a sales agent here, Jane Tess. And on the role, you can see that this particular user is a sales agent, right? And then when we scroll down, we can see that we've got various different customers on our side. For example, we've got this customer here. And then if we look at this particular um, column where it says sales agent, we can see 
which sales agent is assigned to a particular customer okay so if i click on this customer for example and when we scroll down we can see where it says sales agent here that Jane Tess is assigned to this particular customer. Okay, so Jane will be able to manage this customer relationship. So if the customer um, sends in an email order or a phone order, Jane will be able to fulfill that. Okay, and if it's just you that's managing your store, then you'll just create an account for yourself and then you'll just manage a phone order with that account. Okay. Okay, so with the sales agent account up and running, we just need to configure a few settings to um, streamline our workflow. Okay, so we'll navigate to WeSuite and then we'll navigate to sales agent. Okay, we can add a logo within our sales agent dashboard. But the main thing is here where it says allow sales agent to create um, customer. We want to enable this option where it says the extended form. We want to enable this option as well. And then depending on what user role you've got on your site, you want to go ahead and select it here. So this section here will allow the sales agent to create these different account types. Okay. So for example, when we're in the sales agent dashboard, we'll be able to create a new customer and label that customer as a subscriber, a customer or a wholesale customer. Okay. So we just tick the options here that we want um, the sales agent to be able to assign to a new customer. Okay. Um, enable referral link. That's not really relevant for this particular tutorial. So we can leave it toggled off. Um, commission based um, direct orders that's not relevant here so we'll leave it off as well um, edit prices in cart this is super important so we want to go ahead and enable this option okay um, commission applies to this isn't necessary for this particular use case so we can actually go ahead and disable this option okay and then here where it says default sales agent so whenever a new customer signs up to your website we can assign that new customer to a particular sales agent. So we can select a specific sales agent and then here we can set it to Jane. Okay. So all the new customers that sign up to the site will automatically be assigned to Jane. Okay. And then here where it says select um, the user role that the sales agent can manage. So ideally you'd want this selection here to be the same as here. Okay. So if the sales agent can create a subscriber, um, a customer and a wholesale customer, it makes sense to allow that sales agent to be able to manage those customers. So we'll enable where it says subscriber here, customer and wholesale customer. Then we'll just hit save changes. Okay, and then we'll navigate over to our sales agent dashboard and everything will start making sense and coming together. Okay, so I'm going to open up a new tab. Okay, and then we're going to log in as our sales agent here. So a quick hack as well. Um, if you use the user switch um, plugin, we can actually switch um, to this particular user, but I'll just log in as Jane Tess. Okay, so we'll enter in a username and we'll enter in a password as well. Then we'll log in. Okay, and since we're logged in as a sales agent, it's automatically redirected us over here. Okay, so this is where the magic happens. So let's say we've got a, so let's say we've got a customer on the phone, and they're a new customer, right? We can just go ahead and click Add Customer here. Then we can enter in their name. Okay, let's say this is Molly. Then we'll fill out their details here. Okay, and then we can specify the account type. Okay, so let's say this is a wholesale customer. Okay, we can add a password for them. Then we'll click create customer. Okay, and then here we've got Molly. We've created Molly an account and Molly is still on the phone. So now we'll actually go ahead and create an order for Molly while she's on the phone. So she's saying she wants um, a thousand units of this particular pumpkin seed. Okay. We've only got four in stock, so we'll add what we've got um, to our cart. We'll add some more and then we'll go ahead and check out. But the beauty of doing it this way is let's say, for example, um, you've got bulk pricing or some other special discount um, or even some special um, customization option for this particular product. It makes sense to do it this way because in the back end of WooCommerce, you won't be able to apply those tiered pricing discounts unless you manually calculate it. Okay. So it just makes sense to go ahead and do it this way so we can check out on behalf of the customer. So we'll just hit checkout. And while it's still on the phone, so here we've already entered in Molly's um, billing and shipping details. 
So now we can actually choose our payment terms. Here it will show um, the payment options that you've got on your website, okay? So if you've got a net um, 30 or a net 60 term payment, or even invoice payment, or whether it's card payment, cash and delivery, we can just choose the relevant payment method here, and then we can just go ahead and proceed to pay, okay? And just like that, we've created um, the order on behalf of Mali, okay? Then we can just switch back to our sales agent account. Okay, we can see the order here for money, which is currently pending. So as I said, it's super flexible and based on the payment method that you've got um, installed, you can go ahead and take um, customer's payment that way. Okay, so when we navigate to customer, let's say it's an existing customer now. Um, instead of adding new customer, we'll just go ahead and search for the customer name or the company name. And then we can just go ahead and check out on behalf of that customer. Okay. Okay. So if it's an existing customer, we can just go ahead and click this order button here to go ahead and check out on behalf of this particular customer. And that's how you create phone orders in WooCommerce using the WooSuite sales agent plugin in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.